Section 4.5, Proofs about Triangle Congruence, ASA, and AAS. So recall, what ways do we have to prove congruent triangles so far? Well, we know we have side, side, side. We also have side, angle side, and lastly, if we're looking at right triangles, we have hypotenuse leg. So we have the side, side, side postulate, the side, angle, side postulate, and the hypotenuse leg theorem. We're now going to look at two new ways to prove congruent triangles. <coughs> Before we do so, we need to make sure that we understand what con included side means, and that is the side between the two given angles. So if we have a triangle, we're given angle 1 and angle 2. The included side would be side AC. And a quick way to check that is to look at the two angles you're given. Angle 1, its arc touches sides A, B, and A, C. Angle 2, its arc touches sides B, C, and A, C. Both arcs touch side A, C, meaning that that is our included side. Okay. This brings us to postulate 21 the angle side angle congruence postulate or ASA postulate. And this tells us that if two angles, well first of all we need two triangles, but if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles, and the included side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Which brings us to our first example. So given the diagram below, I want you to prove that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle RSP. Take a moment work it through. When you're ready, resume the video and see the solution. Okay, I'm guessing you already have an idea about how to go about this proof, and that we'll be using what we just learned, which is the angle side angle postulate. Don't forget though, we do have side side side, side angle side, and HL. So looking at our drawing, we have two angles that are marked in blue that are congruent to one another, and two angles are marked in red that are congruent to one another. So that does in fact give us the two angles necessary for the ASA postulate. We also see that the shared side, PR, is congruent to itself, and that that is the included side in both triangles. So that gives us the side of the ASA postulate. So we will, in fact, be using the ASA postulate. Our first statement is always the given. But in this case, our given is in the picture. So take a moment, make sure that you can figure out the given for yourself before just relying on me to write the given for you.